Next, we shift our attention now to the commodity segment, where the price of corn is up 0.39% to $3.82 per bushel. That's driven by a pest outbreak in India. A research analyst at the financial derivatives company, Deso Lassumoni, joins me now from New York to talk more about this commodity's performance at the markets. Hello, Deso So we have seen corn prices has... Uh, relatively been stable this week compared to last week when it was quite volatile. In your view, what factors are responsible for these price oscillations? Um, thank you for that question. Like you rightly said, um, last week the price of corn in the international commodities market was um, quite volatile, rising to as high as um, $155 per, per ton and then declining to as low as $151 per ton. But on average, it was about $152 per ton. If you compare that to the week-to-date um, average of um, $154 per ton, you would observe that there's um, a 0.77 increase in the, in the price of corn. And like you rightly said, this is um, due to um, pest, the pest, um, the, 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 the pest um, um, on, on the pest uh, affliction on, on corn plantations in India, as well as um, heat and drought waves in, 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 in Europe, particularly Germany. Which is um, which is uh, raising um, concerns that um, the harvest for the, the expected harvest will be lower. The, the harvest will be um, lower than expected, and the forecast for 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 harvest in Germany, for instance, is projected to be 4.49 percent lower this season than last season. So these factors put together are what is um, what is supporting the price of corn in the international commodities market. And do you think that this price increase on in international commodities markets will affect the domestic corn price or the price of corn-based products? Um, no, I don't think so because um, um, Nigeria, Nigeria's um, corn consumption is, is mainly sourced from local production. So I do not think that um, the, the price oscillations in the international commodities markets would, would, would affect the price of corn in the domestic market. Now, looking at domestic commodities prices, now they've been quite flat in recent weeks. How will this play into the inflation figures, which are scheduled to be released next week? Um, the, the food, the food um, sub index is a significant component of the consumer price index. And like you rightly said, for the most part of last month, the prices have been flat. So we expect that this, uh, this um, minimal changes in the price of, 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 of commodities. In, in the domestic markets would fit into the inflation figures projected to be released for, for um, next week. And we expect that these factors would, would cause um, inflation to, to decline. In fact, we forecast that inflation will decline to 11.03% um, to in July compared to the 11.23% um, that we had in June. Now, just before you go, Desola, tell us what's your outlook for corn in the near future? Um, in the near future, we expect that the price of corn would would um, would inch up, would, would remain um, slightly elevated. Although we should see some minor oscillations in the prices, and this is again due to the the heat wave in in in, in Europe, as well as even in the U.S., which is um, the the heat wave essentially is causing um, drawdown in the the grain stockpiles in the U.S. and is also affecting forecasts for for um, harvest all around Europe. So we affect we expect these factors to continue to um, support the price of corn in the near term. Research analyst at the financial derivatives company, Desola Sumoni, thanks for your time. And back here at the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria, United Kingdom, is set to hold the first Nigerian International Bankers Conference in London from August the 30th to September the 1st. The conference tagged the challenges of regulatory changes and the risk in will provide a forum to partner with organizations and stakeholders within the Nigerian financial system and global financial leaders across the globe. Participants expected at the event and members from regulatory bodies in Nigeria's banking and finance sector, deposit money banks, governments, ministries, departments and agencies, as well as relevant policy makers in other allied sectors. In Egypt's urban consumer price inflation fell to an annual 13.5% in July from 14.4% in June. Prices had soared after the import-dependent country floated its currency in November 2016, reaching a record 33% in July 2017. Inflation rates have since gradually eased, reaching their lowest levels in almost two years in March. But in June, annual urban consumer inflation surged to 14.4% as cuts to energy subsidies imposed 
under an international monetary fund loan agreement hit the economy more than expected.